I'm always looking for new fishing experiences. While I've been on my share of fly-in fishing trips, I've never been on a fly-in ice fishing trip. We had a couple of weeks left in the ice season before my pilot buddy Hayden would swap out his skis for a set of floats on his plane. I made a plan to get dropped off for an overnight adventure in the middle of nowhere on the Canadian Shield. This is our story. Mr. Siemens. Hi Aiden, are you fishing? I am fishing. Show me. Uh, do you want to see what I have packed? What do you think? Is that a ton? Like there will be probably two more backpacks yet. Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll make sure the plane's gassed up? It's gassed up. It's gassed Actually, up. Actually, I, I, I ungassed it a little bit last night that we could take more stuff. Cool. All right, buddy. I can't wait. Thanks for making this happen. Okay, have a good one. See you tomorrow. All right, I think we're packed. A little bit of camera gear, a little bit of food to pack, and we're pretty much good to go. Hayden, Hayden doesn't seem nervous. I mean, I've never flown on the ice before. I've flown in the boat lots. This is packing about as light as I can with needing to sleep on the ice, and hopefully, hopefully that works out. We'll see you guys in the morning. Tell me what you're doing right now. This is a super cover. What is this? Yeah, quick walk around. We're doing the walk around test currently. Making sure everything's as it should be. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Just want to make sure all these rivets are good. I don't see any rivets. <laughs> looks like this thing's taped together. It is taped together, yeah. There's a little paint missing on this corner, Hayden. Yeah. A little chip here. That'll happen. I want to get that looked at. <laughs> Pull out the red Sharpie. This is probably the biggest thing going. Where'd you, did you put the auger in already? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'll teach you how to get in in a second. Teach me how to get in. Oh boy. It's definitely technique. As we loaded up, I kept running through all the lists in my head, hoping I had packed everything we needed. Once we hit the sky, my nerves were eased. We were about to do something incredibly unique, fly in ice fishing. That was good. Welcome to Lake X. So are we the only ones here? We are most definitely the <laughs> only ones here. We made it to the lake. Shout out to my boy Hayden. This is insane. Um, yeah, he's gonna go take a second trip, get our shack, get our propane, our Mr. Heater, all that good stuff, maybe some food. And hopefully there's a laker on the ice because I think the toughest part about this whole deal is gonna be if there's not fish, I'm kind of, I can move a little bit, but really not that far because I don't have a sled or anything. So anyways, Hayden's gonna take off and come back in maybe an hour. Welcome to Naked and Afraid. Just kidding. Oh my goodness, here we go guys. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned what we're fishing for, but we're fishing for lake trout. I'm told this lake is absolutely full of them. For first thing we gotta do, we gotta pull out this little tool. This is my Garmin in reach and I would not be doing this trip without it. No sponsor ship with Garmin. I just know that I need to have a way to communicate. So basically I can use this in conjunction with my phone and I can send messages, but as well it's got, I don't know if you can see that, an SOS button on the side, you open that up. If I press that button, it will call for a beacon and there will be a helicopter or a plane coming to rescue me. I wanna discuss with you everything that's going on here. And I'd love to spend some time, show you what we got packed and stuff and that will happen. We got, we're gonna have a lot of time together because I'm gonna be by myself for a lot of a lot of the next, you know, 30, 36 hours. But we need to find where we wanna set up camp because that's where Hayden's gonna unload all the heavy stuff, the shack, the propane, the little bit of food. So I'm gonna take this rod with the blade bait. I'm gonna take the sonar ball that I brought as a backup. It should be actually better for deeper water than this probably and just portable because I, I don't want to walk out there at the live scope if I don't need to and then the auger. So we're gonna we're gonna go run and gun. Um, there's a spot on Google Maps around the corner that looks shallower. It's gonna be a bit of a walk through the snow, but I wanna, like I said, get set up, get a little bit of confidence, maybe a little bit shallower, maybe in that 60 to 80 foot range near deep water. Yeah, here we go. If I don't have to drink my own pee before the end of this trip, I'll consider it a success. <laughs> How a lot of people fish lake trout when they fish these deep holes in the summertime or whatever, is they'll drop, you know, a buzz bomb or like a heavy jigging spoon, heavy bucktail jig. They'll drop it to the bottom. They'll kind of reel up and give it a couple of rips. 
reel up a couple of feet, give it a couple of rips. That's a very common way to catch lake trout. I'd like to get into that 60 to 80 foot range where we can mark our, mark our lure and kind of interact with the fish a little bit. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, relax. Fish on, yes, yes. I was just reeling up. Guys, first fish of the trip. It probably hit, I don't know, 50 feet down. Come on, baby. Oh, we got dinner. First laker on the ice. All right, guys, we are on the board. Not big, but so cool. You can see it looks like such an old fish. All right, we're gonna put this guy back. I'm feeling confident we're gonna catch another one. We did it. First trout on the ice. I think we're gonna get some bigger ones than that yet, but that is a good sign. I think we're gonna move on. We're gonna keep looking for that shallower spot. Kind of, I'm just trying to get a, a grasp on the area. We are about 40 feet deep here, guys. He's coming up to me. Oh, look at this fish streaking up. Oh, oh, come on. Oh my goodness, there's two fish. Oh, I just missed him. Look at this. Look how, oh no! Look how high he is. Yes, we are on. Wow, that fish. <laughs> I think we are about to have some fun. This is good. Just got a message from Hayden. He's coming back now. Well, I wish I was catching nonstop trout. That hasn't been the case. We caught two and I've been fishing less than an hour. Yeah, over there it's just maximum deepness. It's, you know, whatever, 180 feet, which might be great for catching fish, but it's also a little, it's a little tougher to fish that deep. There, there's a big point that sticks off here and I've seen, yeah, anywhere from 60 to, or I'm in eight, 70 feet and then into 40, that furthest hole. So there's a nice plateau here, which I think could be good for, you know, burbot if we want to push up a little shallower later as well. But right now, Hayden and I are gonna unload the rest of the gear and I think he's gonna fish with me for a little bit. So we'll be able to spread apart and cover some water. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get the gear. But here comes Hayden. Welcome back, Mr. Martin. How was the flight? On? Unreal. Well, I caught two trout. Really? Cool. Yeah, as you may as well just unload here. Hayden's taxiing over to grab the rest of our gear. I think he got the lens a little bit wet. Shout out to Hayden. He's a hero for doing this. I'll link his Instagram below. He does some guiding as well in uh, Northwest Ontario and Manitoba. Actually, I don't know if he's doing some guiding this spring, but anyways, he's linked below. And uh, yeah, he's gonna fish with me a bit, so this is awesome. I'm gonna catch a fish on his rod. I think he might've just got bit. Oh, there's a trout. Oh, he ate it. Oh, he ate it all the way down. Woo-hoo! Oh, that fish was high up. Oh, he ate it again. Yes. Oh no! He's gonna eat it again, watch this. Here we go, right under the ice. Come on, he's like 20 feet down, 15 feet down. He's chasing it down now, come on. Yes! <laughs> that was insane! That was insane, right under the ice. That's what you wanna see from Lakers. This is the biggest one yet. Wow, they're beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful. Look how dark this fish is. There we go. Look how dark that fish is, isn't that sweet? Oh, he was aggressive. Thank you, Hayden Martin. <laughs> I caught one on your rod. Did, Did you hear you? me yelling? No. You didn't hear me screaming? I was no. like, ah, woo -woo! Tell them about yourself. My name's Hayden Martin, 22 years old. Love to fish, fly, snowmobile, kind of everything outdoors. I have a plane, spend lots of time in that. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're hooked up. Small one, I think. Pretty little fish. Jay's over there collecting his auger and camera gear. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh, that was good. Oh my goodness. Oh. And there's a fish just rocket shipping up. You'll get another chance, he's coming up right now. Oh, oh you just broke, broke off. off. Oh my goodness. No way. <laughs> on film, 
It is captured on film. Hayden's not. I was just talking about that magic of bait. The magic white tube, did you bring another one? I, did, I brought one bait. I haven't broken off in like two years on a lake. <laughs> probably hasn't been retied in that long. Oh boy. There you go. Full body hook set from Hayden. <laughs> There's a lot of fish down here. Last it's micro so stock trout I got. This one's not too dark. All right, nice trout for Hayden. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was sweet. Beautiful. You keep your lunch. Oh, here we go. Yes. Wow. Is that a good one? Yeah, probably the biggest one yet. Nice. Does it have a tube jig in its mouth? No tube jig in the mouth. Does it have a little Cleo in its mouth? <laughs> nope. And we'll show you guys what we got. Beautiful. Plane in the background catching backcountry lake trout. Pretty wild. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish under us. All right. All right. <coughs> I'm okay. Looks like there's a fish near bottom. Oh, he's chasing up. Oh, I had him. There's multiple fish. Maybe just that one. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, here we go. There we go. This is so small. Look at that. Ain't that just awesome? That's probably the smallest lake trout I've ever caught, actually. My buddy Clayton would be so proud of this. Well, I think this is a pretty good spot for having a nice finger sticking out into the main deep abyss. Wow, your hair's long. You got like, you wow. Got these gorgeous locks, as you would say. Holy smokes, you got volume, as the girls say. I think most wow. uh, women would probably be jealous of the thickness wow. per se of my hair. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hayden's packing up. He's leaving me alone. Totally alone, naked and afraid. Well guys, this is it. We are now very alone for a while till tomorrow morning or afternoon or whenever I decide to text Hayden to come back. But yeah, I'll show you what we got. Mr. Heater, Buddy Flex with the cooker attachment on the bottom. That'll be perfect for doing some cooking. Eskimo 650 XD. We got my cot, we got some foam mats, we got the propane tank, we got the dry bags. I'll be talking about those later. That's filled with my, my sleeping stuff. I brought a rifle and a rifle wasn't like the first thing I thought of for packing, but we are in the middle of nowhere. There is wolves, I, I'm really not that worried about it. But if a wolf was close to me, would I feel better with a rifle? Yes, so <laughs> I bought a wolf tag yesterday for like 10 bucks. I've never shot a wolf before and it's not really something high on my priority list, but <laughs> we got a gun along. Maybe I'll do some uh, some target shooting yet. And then over there, you got the G2 10 inch, couple of rods, you got the live scope. I brought one iFish Pro and I, I brought pretty pretty minimal food, so. We're gonna, we're gonna cook some lake trout. I think we're gonna maybe, maybe cook some burbot. Uh, we'll do a little more fishing and then kind of make a game plan on where we're gonna set up camp. And uh, I'll show you guys the, the process. Well guys, as you can see, the shack is set up. Uh, I'm excited. I've heard that this is like one of the best couple days of the year for Northern Lights. So some Northern Lights I think would just be icing on the cake, but shack is set up. Um, dry bags. Dry bags are what you need for camping. Like a couple things. They keep things dry, hence the name dry bag. But just for a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, you know, I got clothing, I got some food items in here. I got my pillow sleeping bag. Otherwise, if you put them in a garbage bag, it's ripped, they get wet, whatever. This, super easy. And I'll show you how they work. Watch this, there's this little rubber lip on the top, you line it up and you just start rolling. And you roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. You can squish the air out if you want. You can keep some air in there and then you fold it over, clip it just like that. I learned the importance of guide bags during guiding and now I always have them in the boat. Like even sometimes your boat compartments, they can get damp, whatever it might be. And this is so good for rain gear, extra change of clothing, especially when you're out in the middle here, you need extra clothing. 
But as you can see, we got a little more gear to load into, uh, into the shack and we're gonna be set up. Oh, we need to catch dinner. We released all those trout at the start. Well guys, we're gonna do a little gear talk. I'm gonna tell you what I'm using. A 43 Heavy. This is called the Mr. Big by Frostbite. Uh, we're using an Abu MGX reel. Uh, it's a Rebo, size 30, like a 3000 size. 20 pound braid, 20 pound floral leader. And yeah, I've been using jigging spoons. Um, been playing around with rattle baits, the fluke style baits. So yeah, a bit of everything. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, there we go. Wow, it's been a lull lately. No, 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 no. I can still see him there. He's gonna bite again. Look at this, he's gonna bite again. Oh my goodness, no! I need to tighten my drag, he's still there. Come on, give me one more chance. Come on, we need this, this is dinner. This is dinner. Oh, no. Come on, how many hook sets do we need? Wow. All right guys, we got dinner on the line. Oh, there's some good bubbles coming up. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Hook is out. There you have a beautiful little lake trout. And this guy is going to be dinner if I don't drop him down the hole. <laughs> All right, we're gonna dispatch this fish. And uh, there's another one down there right now. It's prime time. That fish was so aggressive. Oh, here's a trout on the right. Oh, and there's one on the left. This is good. Now I'm gonna start cranking it up. There we go, look at this. Look at this. Look how fast I'm reeling. Oh my goodness. Oh! That was insane, I ripped him so hard. Here we go, round two, look at this. Yes. Ooh, this is a better one. Oh man. Oh! Oh wow. <laughs> wow. This is fighting significantly harder than any of the other fish. Actually taking a run. Looks like there's two fish down there. There's another one just staring. Guys, the sun is setting and we hooked what I think is gonna be our biggest trout yet. This is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Nice. That is a fatty. <laughs> Such beautiful dark trout in here. All right, hooks out. Wow, this is a nice dark, fat trout. Right there, guys. So good. So good. Sun is setting. We have the lake to ourselves. And uh, that was a lot of fun. That fish just, that was as fast as, <laughs> just soaked my sweats. As fast as I could reel, that fish was just streaking straight up. And as much as I like to catch big fish, and that's the target 80, 90% of the time. That is my favorite way to catch a trout. A lot of big trout, sometimes they're caught off the bottom, a little bit slower, sluggish. I would take those aggressive high flyers any day. Oh man. Well, it is time to cook some fish on the ice, which I am quite excited about. I forgot plates, I forgot bags. So we're gonna batter our fish in my ion auger tray. I think that's gonna work. Some tongs, I always forget tongs. Tongs make life a lot easier. A pan, some potatoes, canola oil, and what's gonna make our trout taste so good, a little bit of catch and cook. <laughs> All right, <laughs> got a bunch of potatoes. All right, so we need to figure out how we're gonna do this stuff without plates. We're gonna use, we're gonna put the french fries on the bottom of this shovel. We're taking the heater off, grabbing the cooker. Something that's important is just to make sure you get things balanced. This is the new patented ion battering system. Ooh, ooh, I'm dropping water in the oil. <laughs> just laying it on the foam. I wouldn't pass any food inspection. All right, fish is battered. Fries are about halfway done. Potatoes always take the longest just because there's all that water, all that moisture that needs to cook out of the potatoes. What do you got? Montreal chicken. That's what it's gonna be. Cutting them like big medallions like I did makes it a lot easier to scoop them as well. Let's add a little spice on here. <laughs> you haven't lived until you've had shovel fries. Oh guys, look at that fish. 
That looks pretty crispy. Catch and cook lake trout on the ice by float plane. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, the stars are popping, but Northern Lights aren't happening yet. Uh, I'm gonna let a couple more batteries charge and then we are gonna take some star photos. Flag, 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 flag. We got a flag, we got a flag. All right, guys, we got our first flag and it very well could be a burbot. Always check the drag. Hooked up in the dark under the stars. It's either a small laker or a small burbot. Oh, ho, ho. it's a laker. Lakers do bite in the dark. I'm gonna show you guys this nighttime laker. Wow, he is frisky. So good, there are so many lake trout in this lake. Amazing. Cool, I thought that was for sure a burbot. All right, well, to be completely honest, I'm probably gonna fall asleep soon, so we're not gonna reset this. We will leave it for the morning, but hey, that was awesome. Hayden's back. Hayden's back. I'm wearing my sunglasses inside. <laughs> what just Whoa, happened? Did I'm you break hand, off? I have my hand on my sunglasses. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hayden, how long have you been flying? Started flying when I was 12, actually. 12 years old. How do you? How are you able to fly when you're like you were actually like holding? This? I, I sat on a uh, sat on a pillow so I could see over the dash. Do you still sit on a pillow to see over the dash? <laughs> Negative. Wow! Ooh. Hayden, what's going on? Hayden, you got him. <laughs> okay, I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh. Maybe it's a little bigger. It's definitely better. Oh, I'm like... Coming up backwards. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's just losing it. <laughs> that fish was just swinging at it. I mean, obviously he's trying to eat it, but look at that. Show me the trout. The tr yeah, tube was in the side of the face. Nice, buddy. Good job. Camp the hole backwards, just the way we like it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! He's <laughs> going back down backwards. <laughs> Okay, I need to help this one apparently. That was so graceful. <laughs> I'm built for camera. Oh, that one's gonna eat. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's so small, but that was sweet. <laughs> Things are turning around, ending this trip with a bang. <laughs> that might be the smallest lake trout I've ever caught. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that made this <laughs> shot or not. He's just losing it. I just pounded on the bottom oh. and lifted it up. That was weird. Mm, definitely a shiner. Whoa! See ya, buddy. Well, we're gonna go fish outside for the next little bit. Okay, you're rolling. It's all you. Oh, 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 we're hooked up. That thing came so fast off the bottom. Nice. Not bad, that took like 10 seconds. Nice. Pretty not bad. Whoa, oh my. Oh. <laughs> that, that thing came so fast. He got him! <laughs> Unreal. Hayden's on fire. Absolutely on fire. I've never seen a fish that fast. He just charged up. Before. This is kind of the action we were thinking was possible here. <laughs> That's that secret lure I've been using. Yeah, don't show the people. Yeah, you better hide that one. 
it's pretty pretty rare amazing how many guys using those these days three for three. Oh, see that release that was good everything's coming Every together guys with charm while the trout weren't big the action was fast i love adventure and this trip was exactly that Hayden had a rough start yesterday, and now he's uh, he's lighting it up. Okay. Oh, oh, he's on. My man. We're on. It's tiny. Plane in the background. Hayden in the foreground. Trout on his line. Life's good. This is a J-sized trout. For those of you interested. Wow, that's nice. That's a nice fish, man. Probably never been caught before. That's why he was so dumb. Yeah, even Jay could catch him. I could have caught that one. I think we're gonna be okay though. Jay, do you wanna tell me what happened? I stepped in the hole and I like hit my shin so hard and it went up till here. Sam's probably just laughing right now. All those jokes I made at her for falling in the hole and now I just crunched my leg. Oh. Didn't you just ask me why I fish with an eight inch hole? Ten inch hole's dangerous. Treason. Oh. We're gonna be okay. There's gonna be a good bruise. Well, the wind is howling. Hayden is taking off. He's gotta come pick me up yet, so this isn't the end of the trip, but I got a little more fishing to do. Hayden's got a lot of the gear loaded up in a Super Cub. What a sweet little plane. Well, there goes Hayden. We got a little more time to fish. We're not done. We got one little fishing session, probably an hour and a half to smack a couple more lake trout. So every fishing trip is an opportunity to learn. It's a learning experience. That's what I love about fishing. And what I've noticed about the trout in this lake is the aggressive bigger ones seem to be kind of in the top half of the water column in that if we're fishing in 80 feet, they're in that 30 foot range. Most of the fish that we're catching deeper near the bottom are the smaller ones. So, I mean, if I'm gonna spend my time jigging it's going to be mostly in the top half and and you know obviously with 2d i'm not seeing those fish off to the side but any fish that's been within range and that's been cruising up high has generally came in and just killed the bait so that's what i'm hoping for this has been such a cool experience i hope this isn't the last time i get to fly in to do some ice fishing pretty unique and uh you know we didn't get any monsters but i kind of knew that was the case coming in but we caught a bunch of trout and uh yeah just just a new bucket list thing to check off, so. Here comes Hayden. That was incredible. Guys, huge shout out to Hayden for making this trip happen. Uh, without him, obviously we wouldn't be here. I'm sure this won't be the last time we'll be flying with him. His info will be linked below and as well. Shout out to Eskimo and Ion for not just partnering in this video, but partnering on my channel in general. Without, without partners like them, I wouldn't be able to do what I do and I'm so grateful. Anything you want to say, Hayden? Always fun with Mr. Siemens, says Aiden. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you back on the ice very, very soon. <laughs>